and these two ladies said, Clark, you were terrific last night. <laughs> Says, I says, how'd you get it back in? He says, we use the tongs. <laughs> Two minutes later, she comes in. She says, Daddy, Mrs. McCallum next door said it's called bunk beds and she wants to work with you. <laughs> he says, I'm over here on the swings. <laughs> Not for my arms. <laughs> he says, Where is it for? <laughs> she says, It's for my chihuahua. He says, Well, don't ride your bike for a fall. Very much, ladies and gentlemen. A warm, warm welcome to each and every one of you. Good evening. Yeah. Once we get a posh a bit polite for a Monday, what's about? It? Hello. Hello. Before we kick things off, turn to the person on your left and say, "Good evening. How are you?" <laughs> now turn to the person on your right and say, "Mind your own business." <laughs> There's a definite split in the audience, I would say you're right down the middle. You're this side of the room, we've got the, the young and the good looking people. Yeah. So for the, young, for the young and the good looking, good evening. Yeah. Some of you might want to change sides in a minute. <laughs> From this side, right around to this end of the room, we have, oh yes, we have all the, the rich and the famous. So for the rich and the famous, then. Well, it's lovely to be here, folks. My name's Clark. I thought, oh no, this guy gets out, who's going to hit me? Tiny wee man, tiny wee man, like a dwarf, like a wee dwarf. He came up to me and says, I'm not happy. I says, which one are you? <laughs> the guy answers the telephone and the voice says, hello, is that double seven, 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 double seven, double seven? He says, yes. He says, can you phone the police? I've got my fingers stuck in the phone. <laughs> Folks, it's lovely to be. I was actually on the ship five months ago, Paul did quite realise that. And uh, five months ago I was here and I was down at the restaurant, the first night in the Orion restaurant, and I saw the very same waiter that I had all five months ago. And he came up to me and said, My goodness, I've not seen you for five months. He said, I'm serving as fast as I can. <laughs> and a lovely cabin stewardess, she came in the cabin the first night, she said, Mr. Stewart, do you mind if I come in and clean up? I said, no, please do. She came in, had a shower, did her hair, had these scissors <laughs> First night in my cabin, the phone goes, 2 o'clock in the morning, I've got a fright. I thought, who phones the cabin 2 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, it was the wife, the wife phone in the cabin. I said, hello, babe. That's, that's what I call, I call the wife, babe. Have you seen the film? <laughs> I says, well, you, you, you're simple question, you have fortune for in the cap. He says, I'm missing you, I'm missing you. I said, I've only been away for a week. He says, I'm lonely, I'm lonely. So I thought I'd give her a wee bit sexy talk, you know, maybe you should go so many. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to have a go at you, don't you know? I said, eh, darling, are you sitting by yourself? He says, yes. I said, eh, it's a quarter you got one. She says, Coronation Street. <laughs> Irishman says, well, that's a question, fellas. Here's my son, Pancake. <laughs> I got married in the kilt. Did you really, Clark? Yes, I got married in the kilt. The minister said you look resplendent, Clark, in your full Highland regalia for your wedding day. He said, if you don't mind me asking, what's your tartan? 
I said, oh, she's wearing a white dress of the veil. Pajama bottoms on, I don't want the neighbours thinking I'm marrying you for your money. <laughs>